Hi, this is Deborah Dodge with BurbankandBeyond.com. We are back at the Smokehouse in Burbank, and this time we're here for the annual Toys for Tots drive. So we're going to go inside, talk to some Marines, figure out the history of Toys for Tots, as well as talk to the general manager here at the Smokehouse. So let's go inside and find out some more. Hi, uh, please introduce yourselves. Hi, Debbie. My name's Ed Callison. You are? Debbie, I'm Mark Sellers. And tell us your role with Toys for Tots. Well, tonight I'm here to sing the national anthem. Perilous fight for the ramparts we watched. Uh, I've done some other Toys for Tots in the last couple of weeks. My son and I are both actors. We participate in a lot of the Toys for Tots. Good stuff. And you? I'll be reciting a poem that's uh, famous called Philander's Fields. Between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. So how many years have you been involved with Toys for Tots? Uh, this is my third year, yeah. And what do you think separates this charity for children uh, from others, perhaps? That maybe the Marine Corps is involved? Or? Yeah, I think we heightened our awareness that, you know, not only do the soldiers serve, but they are... Uh, they have a conscience about the children and, you know, supporting that. And I think it, uh, you know, builds on that relationship. And how, I know this has been going on since the 40s, right? Yes, it has, actually. It's a situation where, um, you know, with Toys for Tots, we're helping those in need, the kids in need, and having the Marines for people to look up to, people that, uh, you know, they can look at as someone to really look up to. And, and today, that's, there's not a lot of that. So the Marines really stand tall in, in doing what they do, and we really appreciate it, and I'm here to support it. Well, we're looking forward to hearing you sing and looking forward to hearing your poem. Thank you. I'm looking forward to doing it. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. How many toys do you think they collect every year? Huh. You know, there's two big <laughs> boxes full out there tonight. Uh, the last few events I've been to in the last two weeks, probably three to four hundred toys at each event so thousands That's thousands so not enough but we not enough. the more the better but it's yeah and it's a great start right it's awesome yes yeah have you ever gotten to, gotten to see the children that have received the gifts no I haven't I would like to do that I think about that you know the final the final journey of all the uh, the process of it you know mm -hmm. a producer contacted me and uh, through smokehouse I perform here with my band wild horse and uh, they called and asked me if I would do it, and I've done it three times. And so I'm excited to be here again and honored to be with the uh, soldiers and the children. This Saturday morning at 11.30, my son and I uh, will be down at uh, a shelter downtown, passing out toys for two hours, 11.30 to 1.30 on Saturday. So that's going to be an eye-opener for him, and that's the sort of thing he needs to see as a child. How old is your son? He's 14. So that's a really important age to start at. Sure, especially downtown a situation where it is poor and yes. the people really don't have a whole lot especially toys for Christmas it kind of puts things in perspective and it reminds us all how lucky we are right absolutely blessed. absolutely very blessed very blessed well thank you so much for your time thank we you, really Debbie. appreciate it and we can't wait to hear you both right okay. thank, thank you, you. Thank happy you. holidays happy holidays happy, holidays. happy new year Merry Christmas Merry Christmas <laughs> I'm standing here with First Sergeant Flamang and four other Marines. Please introduce yourselves. Uh, Sergeant Jason Starks. Sergeant Gustavo Dominguez. Uh, First Sergeant Flamang. Sergeant Jimmy Pineda. Sergeant Bell. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's, a pleasure. it's a pleasure for us to be here. It's a, it's a great opportunity to get out in the community and, uh, and bring as much attention and support to the Toys for Tots program as we can. And you were telling me earlier that it started in 1947? It did. It started in 1947. Uh, Major Hendrix uh, initially uh, came up with the idea of uh, starting a, a small campaign to, to help the children, you know, on Christmas morning that uh, were a little bit um, uh, less fortunate than others to provide toys for them. Uh, I guess in 1948, uh, he, made, he made so much uh, momentum and... Uh, brought so much attention to the small campaign that he ran here in uh, Los Angeles. They gained nationwide attention, and in 1948, we went, uh, the Marine Corps launched its official Toys for Tots campaign. And that's what you see every, every year now. So, I remember growing up with Toys for Tots. They were everywhere. Drop-off toys, and the toys go to less fortunate children. And how many years have you been involved? This is actually my first year involved in the Toys for Tots program. It's primarily a reserve mission. Uh, so our reserve stations spread out throughout the, uh, the United States. 
this is something that they start back in uh, every October. They start gearing up for it. And uh, I asked a question earlier to the other two gentlemen. How many toys do you think are donated every year? Um, on average, we, uh, as a nation, uh, the Marine Corps hands out 15 million toys to, uh, to children. Wow. It's pretty significant. That is very significant. And, uh, it makes a, makes a huge difference all through, uh, you know, Christmas morning. And how do you, how do you feel being a part of it? You know, how do you, uh, how do you feel when you make a child smile from ear to ear, you know? So it has a lasting effect on us just as it does them, so. It's very positive. And is this everyone's first time doing this? Uh, How many years have you been involved? This will be my fourth year involved. Wow. Yes. And you? My sixth year. Oh, my goodness. And you, sir? This is my first time. Uh, this is my second year. Second year. So you just keep coming. What made you come back six times? Just making the kids smile. Yeah. 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 And you for four times. What, what do you think? Is it getting better every single year? Uh, every year it gets better. Every year we help out more kids and donate more toys. So it's just seeing that smile, is, it makes it all worth the while. Wow. Well, you brought a smile to my face, and, and I, it's so nice to see you folks in person. And I want to thank you for what you do for Toys for Tots and for your service to our great country. And uh, Merry Christmas. Well, Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you so much. I'm standing here with the general manager of the Smokehouse, Israel Aviles. Good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm Thanks great. Yeah, thank you for having us. So, um, first of all, how long have you been with the Smokehouse? About 20 years now. Wow. Yeah. I've been Did here you start when you were five? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really, but I started as a server, uh, and then eventually, you know, moved on to assistant manager, and then the new owners came in, and they needed some help, and I kind of knew everything about the place, so they asked me to help for six months. It's been six years now with them. Wow. So, yeah, well, so. this place is an iconic yeah. land. It's beautiful. We love it. Definitely. I'm very glad to, to work here. Everybody is like a family. And I think that um, transfers into our customers and it's just like a very uh, cozy atmosphere and everybody knows everybody. And um, they've been coming here for many, many years and we really appreciate that. Uh, it's, uh, you know, almost like a landmark here, you know, uh, all the stories. I hear a lot of stories about uh, how people got engaged here 30 years ago and they came for the prom. And it's just really very nostalgic place and very nice to work here. So I'm very happy to be here. And a lot of old Hollywood hits. A lot of the famous people came here and hung out. Yeah, yeah. Um, George Clooney, before he moved from uh, Warner Brothers, used to frequent us uh, quite a bit and you know we got a share and I think the thing for them they feel kind of um, that they don't feel threatened you know a lot of places they go and you know they got everybody taking pictures and here they felt comfortable I think because nobody really bothers them and they have their special place where they want to sit and we just uh, make sure that they're comfortable. So tell me how did Smokehouse get involved with Toys for Tots? Well um, Mr. Gross, uh, I started working with him about maybe six months ago and he sang his band Starlight started performing here and he brought the idea to me um, recently after we did a last month, uh, well in October when it was our anniversary we um, partnered with uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation to, um, to you know to make uh, kids uh, wish come through which you know we were able to and you know when he brought the idea I thought it was great because uh, usually what I used to do was go, go down to the fire department get some boxes try to gather toys and then when he brought the idea I thought it was great especially after uh, what transferred with the other other uh, function the event that we did it was a good feeling just make sure we wanna we wanna kind of very, very traditional place here so we wanted to start maybe something new that every year maybe we could contribute to them and you know he put it all together and I have a couple of the entertainers uh, Mark is gonna be doing the anthem I believe and then Mr. Skelton the magician that used to work here he's gonna do some magic for everybody so we'll see yeah, I think it's gonna be nice so not only can people come here and do donate a toy but they have a they have great entertainment for the evening yeah yeah they have um, some Christmas songs they're gonna do they perform here and they're quite a, quite good so I'm glad that they're here and Let's see what they, they do with their Christmas uh, songs and a little some Dixieland and things like that they have planned. So I think everybody's going to enjoy it. 
Well, Israel, thank you for taking the time out to talk to us. It's really good to see you again. Good. Thanks. Thanks for coming in. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, that concludes our evening here at the Smokehouse for the annual Toys for Tots drive. We got to talk to the Marines. We got to figure out how long that the Smokehouse has been holding this event. And to find out that 15 million toys are collected every year and given to children who are disadvantaged. So we want to say thank you to our U.S. Marine Corps and thank you to the Smokehouse for allowing us to be here tonight. And on behalf of Burbank and Beyond, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.